and the point which I want to mention in this part. For example, here as you can see, we got level one and level one copy one, which I made a copy in last videos. I modified the scale, for example, one fiftieth in this way. You can observe the adjustment of the sizes of the grids but most of the time uh, you may want to control the size of the grid lines yourself and you may want to consider an, a standard scale addition to the scales of the plan itself but here if I associate a parameter for example here we've got a family I mean the symbol for example let me maximize this in view tab tab views in this way um, let me remove the text in this way and the face of the circle or inside part and the frame part and dimension um, let me move this uh, let me check center mark visible uh, let me put the name here it is and then align then I align the circle of the center and then I can strain them in this way and then I can strain these two in this way in this way very well and then measurement diameter measurement dimension in this way I create a new parameter I name it out and the another one I name it in as the inner circle very well here in edit type or family types their difference is one millimeter so out minus one millimeter so if I set eight for out then in will be seven millimeter very well I select these two dimensions and then I hide them for temporary select and then create similar pick line and lock to be able to control their dimensions I delete this I put the text here again I select the part I mean inside part create similar pick line and then lock and then I select the inside and then finish very well in this way and and after that the exterior edge of the circle um, control Z control Z very well um, I did a mistake let me delete this finish very well I put the text since I made a mistake and then edit a sketch here and then finish edit a sketch I delete this one and then finish control S to save and then load into project in this way and then overwrite so uh, let me close these views I arrange these two views so so right now if I hear from families annotation if I open IR grids and then double click on IR grids we got access to the parameters of the IR grids if I set 10 for out in would be 9 both are getting larger relatively and if I minimize them again these are dependent to each other but right now I want to control the size and consider a standard value based on the scale so to do this what should I do here I should do it from families actually I'm gonna telling you a technique so watch this view tab tab views to maximize the view so here from file new annotation symbol and then I select metric grid head and then open it in this way wait for a second very well I delete this as we did again a new annotation symbol and then this time I select metric generic annotation and then open the point is here actually and I delete this as usual and after that from manage tab and object styles in the category of generic annotations I create a new subcategory for example I name it a scale 150th and okay and another one a scale dash 1% and okay and another one a scale dash the scale of 1 to 200 
1 to 200 in this way let me rename this I missed one in this way very well ok and ok then I select line and then select circle since I want to sketch a grid but very simple so in this way I sketch the circle I select it and then I modify the radius for example for the scale of 1 to 50 for example 10 millimeters and then I set it on the scale of 1 to 50 I mean I specify the subcategory and then I select the circle and then copy the clipboard align at the same place 8 millimeters and then I set the subcategory on 1 to 100 again copy the clipboard paste at the same place 5 millimeters for radius at the scale of 1 to 200 in this way after that I select them and then I move them and after that I select the biggest one and then I move it to here and then I place the edge of the circle at the intersection and then I select the another one and then I place it in this way and the smallest one and then I place the edge of the circle and the intersection and actually you can do the settings of the colors or the patterns in this template I save this template or file I name the file um, generic 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 annotation uh, let me see generic annotations in this way generic annotations grid heads and then save and then load into project in family 2 actually here I place it here in this way right now in the preview tab invisibility graphic overrides annotation category you got the subcategories but here I enable 1 to 100 as a default and then uh, I place the label at the center and I added name I check wrap between parameter only I select the name and then in edit type I set the background on transparent and the text size on 2 millimeters apply on ok in this way so let me test it I open visibility graphics then I check the other subcategories very well in this way well done let me save it I name it IR grids IR annotation grids AN and then save load and close to uh, grids very well in this way so right now if I select the grid line and then I open it type and then I make it duplicate I name it test for example and then I can add the symbol IRAN grids check this out in this way I select all of the grid lines vertical and horizontal and then I set them on test test look in level 1 check this out here and then let me modify the scale to 1 to 100 I open visible to graphic and then in annotation, gra annotation categories let me find annotation generic annotations and then I check 1 to 100 and then apply on ok and then in the other view again I open visibility graphics in annotation categories generic annotation and then I check only 1 to 50 and I uncheck others apply on ok and I do the same process for the 1 to 200 so by this technique you can use the templates for example I mean you can create a template for each of the scales to add the scales on each of the templates I will elaborate it in the next video